Now, Ebony's in with us uh, this morning. Good morning. Hey, guys. Now, you're a former flight attendant, which means you can spill the beans, right? Uh, yes, I am, I am. Okay, we're going to roll through the types of flyers, okay. and then you tell me who they are. Um, so how can you tell the nervous flyer, the person Ooh. who's not been on a plane many times before, they think it's going to crash mm-hmm, and burn? Mm-hmm. Um, look, nervous flyers are hard because they look also very similar to people who would traffic drugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, they're very sketchy, mm. ask a lot of questions, always looking where the Exits are right. So, are you saying if you are trafficking drugs, say you're a nervous, nervous flyer, flyer to get by? I'm uh, sure there's been a couple of them in my time. I'm like, okay, have fun in Maruma. <laughs> uh, what about flip that then? What about the one who who catches planes every day? I mean, they either actually do that, or they are your bronze members who just pretend that they're super important. <laughs> you're like, I'm just going to talk on the phone during the safety demonstration. I'm like, one rule, Daryl, put it on fire. <laughs> um, what about the fly in, fly out worker, the FIFO worker? Because they're on the flight quite a bit. Mm, yeah, yeah. They look like they haven't seen a female in about three weeks. <laughs> um, they, they get onto haven't. the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, on the way home. they're very dirty. I don't know why they can't wash their face, but um, always super nice. They're the, how are you going, darlings? And thanks, sweethearts. And they'll pin you five times on a 30 minute flight asking yeah. for a CC. Can you pick a. <sighs> Can you pick a Karen from that very moment when they hand the ticket to you to get their seat? Um, yes, because normally they look at it and then they request a different seat, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, excuse me, can I please be a little bit to the front because I like to get off the flight first. Oh. It's like, Karen, you weren't the only person who's had a baby on this planet. Like, <laughs> take your seat. They always have their kids' devices on blast, you know, not everybody wants to hear wiggles for three mm-hmm. hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been this one when you're on a boy's trip. Boy's trips. Yeah. Are they just ready to party? They're always ready to party. And the flight Home. I love when you get them on the flight home because they look so sad and sorry for themselves yeah. and they're always going up to the toilet and I'm like, oh, yeah. good luck with that because those are not sanitary. Is it similar to the girls' trip? Um, I think so, but the girls' trips are a little bit more bubbly. They're always talking about their husbands and how unhappy they are <laughs> and I'm ready to party. <laughs> Can you tell when a couple is intending to try and join the Mile High Club? They normally ask for extra blankets. Uh-huh. They're at the back of the plane a lot, mm. and um, I'm normally at the back of the plane, so I'm like, I can see everything that's going on here. <laughs> oh, right. You know? yeah. What's the rule as a flight attendant? Do you have to go, oi? I just turn a blind eye. I'm mm. like, oh, you know what? Good for you. And then do you say, take the blanket with you? <laughs> 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 and then we use it for the next person Ooh. on flight. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do as well. I bet you do. <laughs> Abby and Matt on B105.